Basil shows us a good time. Crazy dames make a blanket statement. This art works. Previously on This Art Works. I'm feeling much more confident being my true self. Yes, I am a magical living statue that... That was a close call. Speaking of close calls, our first artist calls his mother for help with an artwork that's in very good taste. Hi, I'm Basil Alziri, and my project is called The Mobile Kitchen Lab. It's about unrecognized labor, migration, and cultural appropriation. I feel that learning how to prepare food is like learning a language. This is my mom, Saad, calling in to help me make sata using her recipe. Sata is a traditional Mediterranean Arab spread using fresh thyme from Jordan. Whoa. No, no, I didn't smuggle it. It's fresh mountain thyme from Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. Anytime, Basil. Anytime. Okay, Mom, let's get started. Crush the herbs by rubbing it through the sieve to get a fine texture. Add a tablespoon of sesame seed, sumac, just a pinch of salt. Let's just cut to the finished dish. And there you have it, authentic sake. With the help from mom. Thanks, mom. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Looking for a way to smooth things over at your next border crossing? Let everyone at the border know that you're one of them with a patch that really spells it out. I love Canadian values. Whatever the heck those are. Make sure you make the text easy for custom agents to read. Include a classic Canadian symbol like the maple leaf, a cottage, or dog whistle politics. Now that we're done, put it on literally everything when you're traveling. Show the world how much you love white people. I mean, Canadian values, even if no one can tell you what they are. And so I was like, dog poop is basically fertilizer, so I'm practically doing your gardening for you. <sighs> well, that's my break. Catch you on the flip-flop, Hedo. You're a good listener. And there's just so much to listen to. Ah, here come two of my favorite conversationalists right now. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Jenny. We're Crazy Dames, and our project is... Building blanket forts to spark conversations about how we can collectively build our cities. Hey, you! Want to build a blanket fort with us? Yeah, sure. Nathan Phillips Square. That's Toronto City Councillor Kristen Wong Tam. Building blanket forts reflects the city building process, which is ever evolving and needs to include many voices. Great work, everyone. Now let's get in there and gab. Pretty nice, eh? We'd love to see Torontonians more involved in shaping our public spaces. Yes, me too. Toronto is already one of the best cities in the world. We're certainly one of the most diverse cities. We want to see people get involved with designing and building our public spaces. They've got to be fun, inclusive, dynamic, and engaging. Let's build it together. Wow. Blanket forts. What a brilliant way to fort-ify our community. 